Hey guys, I'm Lilo from Ukulele Therapy, and today we're going to talk about why music makes us feel good. We all know that music can make us feel better. We turn to music when we're sad, lonely, anxious, depressed. Music is used in movies and shows to literally alter our mood states. So we intrinsically know that music makes us feel better, but there's actually research to back this up. There have been multiple studies showing that music has decreased depression and anxiety. I'll be addressing this more in my videos about music therapy for depression and anxiety. So what happens in the brain when we listen to music? Listening to music releases the neurotransmitter dopamine. This is the same neurotransmitter release when we do any pleasurable activity like eating really good food or laughing. Have you ever heard music is like a drug? Well, technically that's true because addicting drugs also release the neurotransmitter dopamine. This is the pleasure center of the brain. It's also the center that contributes to addiction. The interesting thing about music though is it lights up almost all areas of the brain. The emotion center, the memory center, the language and speech center, the area that has to do with decisions and forward thinking, processing what we hear, the area that regulates heart rate and blood pressure, and those are just a few. An important thing to remember is that not all music improves our mood. It is most important that it is preferred music. A lot of people think classical music makes you smarter, makes you feel better. It's true if you like classical music, but if you hate classical music, it's not gonna do anything for you. So to answer the question of why music makes us feel better, the sciencey answer is that it releases dopamine in the brain. I think it can also make us feel good because it reminds us of good times and triggers good memories. Also, like I said before, it slows your heart rate and regulates your blood pressure. There have been studies showing that our heart rate will start to sink to the beat of the song that we're listening to. So if you're really anxious or worked up, then listen to a slow song. So why do we like sad music then? Well, I think because it's validating. It makes us feel connected to others and like we're not alone. That in itself is a basic need of being human, connection, and music can give that to us. Also knowing that other people are creating these songs and other people are listening to these songs and relating to these songs, can make us feel even more connected and validated. I think another reason music makes us feel good is because it's comforting. Have you ever gone to a new place or done something unfamiliar and listened to some of your favorite music and it made you feel a little more comforted? It gives us that familiarity that comforts us. Music therapy is used in hospitals to reduce pain and anxiety, maybe before a surgery or a procedure, and I think there's a lot to that, but I think that part of it is just the comfort and familiarity of having some of your favorite music to listen to. And something interesting too is that Music that sounds happy to us can sound sad to people in other cultures. So maybe there's a cultural connection to music. Maybe how we use music, we begin to associate different types of music with happy things and different types of music with sad things. Like if we listen to certain songs at weddings and when we're dancing, it can feel different than when we listen to songs at like a funeral or watching a movie with a slow song. So there could be connection between how our culture associates music. So there you have it, a couple of sciencey things, a couple of things that I think might be happening when we listen to music. There are a lot of different articles and things out there that are really interesting that I read um, before I made this video. So if you're interested and want to look more into that, I've provided some links in the description. So I think that kind of sums it up. It releases dopamine, it lowers our blood pressure and our heart rate, it makes us feel connected, it makes us feel validated, and it gives us positive memories, it's comforting, it's familiar, and maybe there's some kind of cultural part to it too. As always, please like and subscribe if you want to learn more about music and therapy and counseling, music therapy, and I'm going to be posting videos every week, so I hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching.